health news. Ten strange signs of COVID you haven't heard of. COVID tongue. The tongue itself looks like it is known a geographic tongue. It looks like a bit like a map. It can be very sore while for other people it comes and goes. It can last a few days or even a few months. Of course, it can be a sign of other problems. You can consider especially wary if you have other coronavirus symptoms. It's associated with other conditions. You have this tongue as well as other symptoms. Given infection rates are high, it's highly likely you have COVID. Odd smell and taste. It may be discovered the taste or smell could be lots of sm- taste or smell could be a sign of COVID. That later added to the official system list. But while some people don't experience a loss, they find everything tastes strange. It often describes a metallic taste in the mouth. Some people even said their own body odors smell strange. They feel like they stink and they find it very unpleasant. Hair loss. One of the rarest symptoms people have reported is hair loss. At the moment, we don't. People are not sure if it's significant, but we are looking into it, and something we might add in the future. Most medics believe it loss people are experiencing is not the result of the virus, but the stress of fighting it. Even people who have not had the virus, reporting hair loss an issue this year as people battle for it. Putting hair loss as an issue this year as people battle financial hardship, perhaps the loss of their job and other difficulties stemming from the pandemic. Hair can fall out in an illness of infection or those. These can impact the production of new cells and the creation of proteins in hair facilities. Confusion. Some people experience confusion or delirious after getting COVID. It's especially common in older age group. In fact, it may be one of the best predictors of disease among other older people, and sometimes followed by stomach problems or diarrhoea. Put analysing data from the says that aging, Asian aging, that doctors and carers should be aware of delirium as possible warning signs, even yet some more typical symptoms such as cough or fever. Further people experience it or not reported the classic symptoms at all. In one fifth, delirium was one, only one symptom. Pink eye. In one of three percent of cases, coronavirus can cause trichomonas, which is known as red or pink eye. Uh, so it say it tends to occur later stages of the disease, along with more of the classic symptoms such as cough and fever. You mean most seen in people with severe symptoms? Only seven percent, not point seven percent, with mild symptoms have it, while three percent of these with severe symptoms developed coronavirus. could occur through direct exposure to the surface of the eye to COVID-19. Headache and muscle pain. Headache, fatigue and muscle pains are not on the government list of total signs. Usually the first signs that someone with COVID will experience. It are very common around 80% of people present with headache, fatigue or severe muscle pains. First day of feeling unwell. Despite being common, these are not being yet made official in a list of symptoms. Skipping meals. Among, among under-18s, meals could be an important... Skipping meals could be important to sign of COVID. So it's one of the key symptoms of kids. They're really important to realise. It says skipping meals, fatigue and headaches are important. Tummy rash or pain or tummy rash. A child in a rash... Abdominal problems, symptoms such, such as funny tummy, tummy ache or diarrhoea could be a sign of COVID if also had a high temperature for at least three days. Most children do not do not become seriously ill with COVID on this and fewer of 5% end up in hospital admissions have been people under 20. But a very small number have developed an unusual condition called PIMS, Pediatric Inflammation Multi-Symptom Syndrome. It seems to be linked to the Samaris. 
Very rare, some children with it have a rash, may have a donable symptom. In all cases, the children have a very high temperature or se- for several days as well. 9. Body rashes. Rashes should be considered a key sign of COVID. Who says 9% of all these di- all those diagnosed with COVID experience them. From, verse, from March last year, dermatologists around the world realised they were coming across a lot of rashes. Some have been seen in the other viruses, but some are very typical COVID. The common symptom is a pallia or ectromoto vascular rash, which is red and bumpy. A bit like prickly heat, it could occur anywhere in the body, especially in the hands and knees. Second most common is a hive-like rash. It causes raised eye patches. Red patches it may come and go quickly, or quickly, but usually very itchy. It's thought that rashes are triggered by the body's immune response, and usually after infection, but do not occur at the time. For 25% of those who have a rash, it's said that the only symptom they experience and they had the rash, you wouldn't have known they had the virus. COVID fingers and toes. A rash may appear on either your fingers or toes. It looks like chill veins, frostbite. It usually appears as reddish or purple looking bumps on top of the toes or the back of the fingers. A rash can form a small circle, often feels quite tender. In some cases, it's the first sign of infection. But other people we see know it appears several months after they've had COVID. It's more common in children, usually the sort of rash you see in the winter, but stuck out at the time, it doesn't quite fit. When dermatologists see, see seeing it back in March and uh, 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 April, now being realised it's linked to COVID. So please, wash your hands, social distance, wear a face mask, open a window where you can, and if possible, if you need it, if you uh, meet the government criteria and have a letter, go and have a, have the vaccine. It will protect you. We will come out of this. We have hope. Thank you for listening.